It's Fashionista Seams, and we're back with an all-new mating game, number 208, I believe. We have someone new on today. If you saw the creative sim I did, then you know he was made for the mating game to be played with and whatever else I want to do with the little thing. And he's also he, from Ed's story. He is. And I think he's adorable. I think, I don't know, the name's kind of silly, but I think he looks very nice. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Take it away, T! Why? Thank you, Antique Bart Bells. Welcome back to an all new mating game. Well, Fred, we have actually someone from Ed's story here. Let's have, let's have some nervous talk, Gordon Frank. I'm waiting for Big Fat Larry. He's been made. I guess he'll be on next week then. I made Big Fat Larry. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Anyways, we have returning as our bachelorette. Early Mozart! Hi y'all, what's going on? What did I tell you, Chair? I told you to shut your dying pie hole. I'm gonna sit on you, and you'll be muffled, and you won't be able to say anything to me at all. It was like the whole dang time, so shut it! Okay. A new bachelor! Nice, nice! Nice. What the heck? Returning! Keyline Mozart! Hey, Mon. Cool, yeah. I'm here, Mon. Why the heck is there a weird guy on here? Um, all he's saying is nice, Mon. I, I know! And he's gonna get on my nerves fast! I thought so. And, of course, in our third chair, as always, the insufferable <laughs> Blahole. Watch your shit tank. Whatever. And back! Oh, yes. Motherfuckers getting in my nerves already. Hey, everybody, I'm her. I don't give a shit about your fucking red couch. All oh, the motherfucker rips up and fucking me and pace as hell. And our lovely cameraman, Fred, and don't talk about my red couch, damn it. Mr. T, Mr. T made me get it. Fred. Hello, Fred. I'm lovely, Fred. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm nice. <laughs> I'm doing no show. I know. Alright, go ahead with your first question, Arlene. Alright, bachelor number one. Nice. Are you nice or mean? Nice. Man, you made that question for him, Mon. I did on purpose. Because he can't say anything but nice. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make him say some opposite. Good luck with that, Mon. Bachelor number two, are you nice or mean? I'm nice, Mon. You should know that. I know. Bachelor number three, are you nice or mean? I'm like in between. I'm pissed off and I'm fucking nice. I'm nice. I'm by Good choice. He is I'm in between too. What? I'm in between nice and mean too. Yeah, but she's lovely, honey. And I know. Guess I want a dang cupcake chair! Why the heck are you asking me for? I don't care! I'm gonna sit he down! He told you a joke! You're laughing! Yeah! Apparently you said a nice joke! But you was laughing about it! Apparently! Bachelor number one! Nice! Would you eat rotten salami? Nice! What?! Even rotten salami's nice?! What the oh, heck? That's nasty, Mon. What? Oh, 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 oh. I thought you'd say the opposite. I don't know if you'll catch me off guard or not. You might. I think I'll, I'm going to try. That's the number two. What do you think about rotten salami? That's gross, Mon. I know. But that butthead over there thinks it's nice. He's selling nice jokes, Mon. They're funny. They're not so nice. Bachelor number three, what do you think of Ron Salami? I'm sorry, I have to still eat it. I don't. I eat everything. It don't matter if it's bad or not. I'm a hunger man. 
Okay. Or maybe a hundred jack. I don't know which. Bachelor number one. Nice. What do you think about rotten foot skin? Nice. What? Oh, ma, that's ne oh, is Tracy here today? No. No, nah, she was. She was nice though last time she's here. Surprise. You wasn't here, Arlene. I was in the audience. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you, guys. Bachelor number two, what do you think of rotten foot skin? Oh, ma, that's nasty, mom. I know, but this butthead over there doesn't care. Did the chair tell you a joke, mom? It's telling me a nice joke. I thought you were telling me a joke, mom. Bachelor number three, what do you think of rotten foot skin? Oh, hell no. That, that is fucking Tracy, I'm telling you right now. She sells it fucking on eBay for fucking ten dollars a fucking foot scraping. Bachelor number one. Nice. 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 That didn't work. Bachelor number two. Nice. Mean. Are we doing opposites, Mom? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm just going with it. Bachelor number three. Nice. Booger head. <laughs> you can say whatever you want on that one. <laughs> Bachelor number one. Nice. You're getting louder. Your hair looks goofy. Nice. What? How's that nice? Your hair looks nice, man. I don't know why she thinks it's goofy. I'm just saying it. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, my real question is, what is your favorite season? Hey, man. I'm asking Bachelor number one. Nice! That is not a dying season! Um, I think he means fall, Mon. How the heck do you translate nice? I'm high. I can translate anything, Mon. What? That makes no dying sense! Don't ask me. I didn't understand nice language. Bachelor number two, what's your favorite dying season? Mine? Yeah. Uh, spring, Mon. I get to plant, Mon. Bachelor and then summer, because I get to harvest, Mon. That's true. I got two, Mon. Bachelor number three, what is your favorite season? Fall, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the answer for you, Ed. Actually, it is fall or winter, either one. I don't like the hot months, team out. Bachelor number one. Nice. I dropped my ice cream cone on the ground today. Nice. How the heck is that nice? It's a waste of dang ice cream. You are a dang idiot. I'll buy another one, Mom. I'm just telling them this stuff. I didn't know we had ice cream. Anything else but dang nice. Oh, sorry, Mom. I didn't know we had ice cream, Mom. I'm just saying. Oh, oh. But I'm upset, Mom. Good. Yeah, that's joint, Mom. Good. Bachelor number two, I dropped my dang ice cream today. I'll get you another one, Mom. I'm getting high now. Bachelor number three, I dropped my dang ice cream today. I'm sorry to hear that. I probably came by and saw it and ate it. I'm sorry. I, I ate everything off the ground, but I buy you a new one. Thank you, Ed. No problem. Bachelor number one. Nice. Oh, it's getting longer now. I have no words. You stuck into her chair, Mon. How could you ask a question? I have no idea. You're a cheese, you're fucking wife. She don't talk to our chairs at home, Mon. I know. Which, I don't know why she talks to the one here. I guess it's very talkative, Mon. Apparently so. Anyway, bachelor number one. Nice. You are a dang butthead. You're getting on my dang nerves. Nice. How the heck is that nice? Actually, that's rude, Mon. You're getting on my wife's nerves. Nice. Oh, yeah, Mon, she's my wife. Nice! Well, I don't know, Mon. She likes to come on here and fuck with people. And I don't cuss hardly ever, so yeah, Mon. She does the ding dang stuff, Mon. It ain't me. Bachelor number one, what is the saddest movie you've ever seen? Nice. <laughs> I've never heard of a mo sad movie named Nice. I think I saw that, Mon. What was it about? It was about nice things, Mon. I don't know, Mon. I just do but what he said. It was sad. I don't get it. I think I saw that too. It wasn't nice, let me tell you. It was awful. I enjoyed it, Mon, but I was high. Bachelor number two, what's the saddest movie you've ever seen? Marley and me, Mon. You know that, Mon. Oh, yeah. The dog died, Mon. Ah! I'm sorry if I ruined it for you, but I hadn't seen it, but the dog dies. 
Don't oh. watch it! I'm sorry. Every time I, every time Marlon meets brought up, he get, gets emotional. I do, Mom. I love animals. Where about I have a dog, Mom? I don't know. Wolfgang has a dang goldfish. They do. I love my goldfish. Bachelor number three. What's the saddest movie you've ever seen? And um, let me think. Oh, wind beneath my wings. Oh, that's a sound. Anyway, what with this movie? I don't know. What was the name of the movie, Mon? It had Bette Midler in it. Oh, yeah, Mon. I stole that. That was a good movie. It was sad, Mon. I don't like that movie either, Mon, but it's sad. Oh, my God. Her no, friend dies, Mon. She gets some kind of heart disease and dies, Mon. I hope it didn't spoil it for you, Mon, but she dies. Gosh dang it, what? That movie's been out for fucking years. If you ain't seen it, I feel bad for you. Oh, the name was Beaches, not fucking women in my wing. Good God. I haven't seen it, Ed. Hey, she didn't spell it for you. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Nicole Mon. Every time a sad movie's brought up, Caleb cries. I don't like sad movies, Mon. I like happy movies, Mon. Then stop watching dang sad movies. <laughs> I can't help it, Mon. They're good shows. And you cry over dang Disney movies. Well, you remember in Aladdin, Mon? Oh, no. huh. What? He was hungry, Mon. It made me sad. I know! They were trying to eat bread, and these kids were starving, and of course, starving kids made me sad, Mon! And then they give the bread to the starving kids! <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. No! We said the same time, man! What the hell? No, he's going to flood me! Everything said to him, hell! Now the whole dang stage is gonna be flooding. And you were sad when Cinderella was sad. Of course it was, Mon. Her stepmother was awful, Mon. And you were sad for Ben. And you said, oh, this is, and I quote, I'm gonna take my boot and take it up that stupid, ugly godmother's butthole. I mean, yeah, I mean, stepmother. That's what it was, like godmother. Well, how the heck am I take the next very godmother? I don't know, she probably pissed you off too, Mon. Cause you would like to dress or some shit. Bippity boppity kick! God, you must be on some fucking different pot. You're cussing. Eli don't cuss. I know! Oh, man, I forgot. Shemaka Rara gave me this. That's Shemaka Ray Ray. Oh, yeah. I she, she has a cousin named Shemaka Rara. I know Shemaka Ray gave me the good stuff. It's Shemaka Rara, man. That's, that's her cousin, man. She's got bad weed. Don't get by from her anymore. It was free. I just took it. Let me get my Shemaka Ruru weed out, man. I'll be fine in five minutes. You should man. Mon? Oh, oh my god, Mon! Oh, what is wrong with me, Mon? And you were crying because Belle was crying. I do cry at movies like that, Mon. You're crying over Fox and the Hound. They were friends, Mon. No, you were crying because Todd was left behind. And he should not have been left behind, Mon. The reason why he was the hell is that, Mon? The reason why he's left behind because a dang butthole was why gonna is, kill him. Why is nice, nice, flirty? I don't know. He's romantic. Oh boy, that's why, Mon. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm married, Mon. I, 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 I can't do that. Anyway, Caleb, the reason why Tom was left behind because a dang hunter was gonna kill him. Why in the hell? What question are we on? We're, we're talking about damn sad ass movies. I'm sorry, I got off topic. Oh yeah, you were talking about sad movies. Never mind. Oh yeah, I was supposed to think of a sad movie, wasn't I? You already did. So what? Oh yeah, beaches. Bachelor number one. Nice. What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? Nice. That is not a dying movie. I heard nice was scary, Mon, and it was also was sad. What? That's the same dying. How can Nice be sad and fucking? That makes no sense. That's what I'm confused about. Have you ever seen Nice, Arlene? No. Should I? I think I would. I'm going to. As soon as this episode's over, I'm going to come back again and let y'all know what I think of the movie Nice. Alright then. Alright, Arlene, go with your last question. God help us all. I wasn't done with the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Bachelor number two! What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? <laughs> Halloween, Mon. <laughs> Michael Myers is a shit, Mon. <laughs> is that the last time one was sucky? Well, I don't talk I don't watch those sucky movies. 
Wait. Actually, I cried at Halloween Ends too, Mod. He died. If you haven't watched, I'm sorry, I spoiled it. But he dies. Oh, oh yeah, Caleb was sobbing. It was Mod. I was sobbing for Michael, Mod. He didn't deserve that. And also, Mod, he is not weak, Mod. Damn it, Caleb. Don't you ever make Michael Myers weak, Mod? Yeah, Caleb was mad about that show, was I? Yeah, I think you kind of motherfucker. I am, Mon, but I didn't like that shit, Mon. I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like we're off yet, Shemaka Ra Ra's. Uh, if you watch this, um, 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 Pink Wave Gamer, make Shemaka Ra Ra. She gets out bad weed, Mon. Just saying, just saying, Mon. Yeah. Just, 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 just. Bachelor number three, what's the scariest movie you've ever seen? Uh. Actually, I mean, Michael Myers is fucking terrifying, but I've kind of gotten used to being around him. But, um... Sick of foos. What was that fucking name of that? Why can't I never think of fucking names of movies? Just say what it's about, honey. It's about this fucking wing creature. It tries to kill the whole fucking town of people. This makes him disappear. Yeah, I can't think of the fucking name of it, name. <clears throat> oh, well, I'm sorry. But, it, it, yeah, that I never wanted to see that movie again. It gave you chills. It gave my fucking, hell yeah. Even my fucking bald head had fucking hair stand up on it. Dang. <clears throat> how can Keyline be asleep? I don't know. He's fair. Oh, I know how it is. I know what happened to him. He got so... I rate and upset and he doesn't ever get that way folks he just does not it wore himself out he got so frustrated and upset over the sad movies and all that stuff he, he fell asleep anyway Arlene go ahead with your last question bachelor number one nice just shut your dang butthole nice I said shut your dang butthole he can't shut it but how he had to fire it Anyway, what was your worst date ever? Nice, 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 nice. So you went to a dang terrible concert. That's what he's, I don't know what that said, what he said. I had to fire, excuse me. Now I wait, key line up, maybe. Oh, God, it was rotten. Oh, he's embarrassed. Anyway. What, Mon? Oh, yeah, he went to a bad concert, Mon. The girl... Wait a minute! How did you know you were asleep? I, I was dreaming, dream sleeping, Mon. Oh, continue. Anyway, Mon, he said he went to a bad concert with this girl, and she stole his, his wallet and stuff. Well, that's terrible. Yeah, and that, and that it was a terrible date. Bachelor number two, what was your worst date ever? Let's see here, Mon. I was... 15, I was at the beach, Mon, and the thrill, cute little teenage girl walked up to me, Mon, and she said, hello, my name is Charlene. You, I have a close to your wife's name. You dated a girl named Charlene. Charlene Tinkerman, I told you, Mon. Oh, yeah. You met Charlene Tinkerman at the fucking Piggly Wiggly, Mon. Oh, yeah. She's still pretty good looking. What? She is, Mon. She's still good looking. What are you guys doing? I wasn't in my her, just an observation, Mon. Uh-huh. I enjoyed lovely things. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. Uh-huh. He tells me that all the time, Mom. He's not lying to you. I know! I am not interested in any other woman, Mom, but you, ever again. I would kick your dang foot. I'm just saying, I would not ever want another woman but you, honey. That's anyway, it. continue your dang... Wait, how... Anyway, Mon, we met the Pickly Wiggly. She was working part-time as a cashier, Mon, and I was a bag person. I had my first night to start. Why did you say you did the beach? Oh, no! Oh, that was a different story, Mon. That was after we started dating. You started dating somebody you had a bad date with? Well, about a year or so later, Mon, she kind of blossomed, and we dated for, like, briefly, like, a couple of days. It wasn't much, Mon. I see. But anyway, Mon, we met the Piggly Wiggly. We had my first night working. I was high as a kite. And she had braces on, Mon. And I thought that... She, and I saw a piece of celery sticking out of her braces, Mon. I could not keep my eye off of it. I kept staring at it. And she said, what are you staring at, Key Lime, Mon? And I said, oh, I'm sorry. You have a piece of celery sticking out of your braces, Mon. 
Renzi. And she said, Mom. oh, come here and get it out for me, yeah. Mon. I said, um, let me get my tweezers. And she said, no, with your mouth. I said, oh, Perfect. God, no, Mon. I ain't looking your nasty celery encrusted oh, braces. Ew, oh, gross, Mon. <laughs> that? Look, and then that ended the date, Mon. Oh. You are dating? You said a fucking job. I know. I'm high, Mon. Now, oh, whatever, this is bad hell. Moving on! Yeah, hey, I tell you what. Bachelor number three, what was your worst date ever? Let's see her! Oh my god, that was evil. Anyway, one of my worst dates ever was, um. This part time wrestling woman. And what was her name, Ed? Uh, her name was uh, Big Fat Betty. Well, that's an awful name for a woman. I didn't make up her name. That's what she called herself. She wasn't fat. But she just liked her name, Big Fat Betty. I don't know her last name. All I knew her was Big Fat Betty. <clears throat> but she was just big and muscled up. She wasn't fat nowhere. She had no fucking... She was tied to damn tick. Hell. But that was a wrestling name. It was, it was just a fun name. I guess she enjoyed it. I'm assuming her name was Betty, but who knows? Anyway, we, we, we went out for a date, you know, and stuff, and went to this mud wrestling bar. Oh, God. And there's all kinds of sexy women there fucking wrestling in mud on the, and shit, and fucking men were throwing money at them and stuff, and... Uh, excuse me, I had to fart. Anyway, oh, God, it taco's nasty. Oh, I say! No more farts, huh? Fuck you, nice! Nice? No, I don't mean I want to fuck you nice. I mean fuck you fucking nice. Nice? No, shut up, hell. I don't understand shit. Anyway, Big Fat Betty says, hey, I wonder if Big Fat Betty would date Big Fat Larry. I guess you want two peas in the pub, don't you think? Excuse me, sorry. I think so. Anyway. Oh, mon. That was rotten, mon. Oh, 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 really? I didn't. I had no idea, Mom. But anyway, an alien was in there wrestling this woman. Oh, this is cool, Mom. And it got this fucking tank was driving it fucking down the damn fucking side of the walk. What's this side of the walk, Mom? Side walk! I think she's been talking to Nicole. I think it pulled me here on Nicole too long. Why do you say that? Side back. Walk side. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Anybody got the subject. So Big Fat Betty says, I gotta go in and wrestle her. And I said, hey, who's that? Hey, she said, that's Shucker Trucker. I said, Shucker Trucker? She said, yeah, she's a wrestler too and she likes to drive a semi. I said, well, that makes sense her name being Shucker Trucker, I guess. So she said, she's going there and wrestle her, right? I said, all right, go ahead. I like to watch, you know. Uh, she stripped off her clothes and had on this really, really slender, tiny little fucking bikini on. I was like, hell yeah. So Big Fat Betty jumps out there, fucking jumps on fucking Tucker Shucker Trucker and fucking throws her down. Mud fucking flying everywhere. I had fucking mud all on my damn glasses, all on my fucking head. I think even my dick got some and fucking went down my damn shorts. I don't even know how it did. But anyway... Next thing I know, I'm hollering, Big Fat Betty, get her, get her. Well, that fucking pissed Shucker Trucker off. I did not know that fucking Big Fat Betty and Shucker Trucker was fucking, r r fucking friends. That pissed Big Fat Betty off. So what happened? Well, next thing I know, I'm being fucking thrown in the gosh damn mud. I'm sliding face first, landing between Big Fat fucking Betty's twat. She slapped me in the fucking head, knocked me off, off, off her fucking damn twat. <laughs> Keep me in the fucking damn groin, and I don't know why she did that, because I thought I was going to fucking puke. Then, she puts picks me up with her damn fucking legs, and does one of them scissor fucking... I don't know what it is. I was caught scissor style in between Big Fat Betty's fucking legs. I couldn't move an inch. Not a tidbit. Not a centimeter. Oh, uh, stuck. No and mud is slippery. So that made no fucking sense. 
You like my chains? No. <laughs> Time now, scissored in between Big Fat Betty's big fat legs. Oh, she ain't really big fat. So I'm probably in trouble now. But it, it ain't funny, Nash. Nice. But anyway. It ain't so nice, easy. Next thing I know, fucking Shrucker Trucker comes up and fucking belly flops me. I went flying. Out the fucking bar door. Across the fucking street and landed in fucking Pizza Hut's fucking parking lot. Yeah, it's me Pizza Hut at a goddamn good place for a biz being across from a fucking damn wrestling fucking titty bar. Anyway, I got up and walked fucking home. I had mud covered for me fucking head to toe. My grandma didn't know who the fuck I was. <laughs> But I tell her I took the fucking hose to myself, then she recognized me. That was one of my fucking worst dates ever. I have to admit, Ed, that was a nasty fucking date. Tell me about it, fucking shit covered in mold. All right, we're right back at this fucking brief commercial. Hang on, folks, hell. All right, think of that brief Pizza Hut commercial. Well, our ladies, I did Bachelor number one. No. Bachelor number two. Yes. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about Ed then. That's right, y'all are married. Ah, right, Keelan, go out and claim your wife. Cool, man. Bye, nice. Bye, Ed. Have a good time there, boys and girls. Oh, sorry, man. Apparently, <laughs> nice thinks it's funny, man. He's hey, broken hearted, Mom. She didn't pick him. I don't give a crap. Where do you want to go, honey? <laughs> Let's go to Applebee's. That's cool, Mom. Let's go. Come on, honey. Come on, kids, Mom. We need to go to Applebee's. Yay! I want the all you can eat ribs, Mom. We'll swim there, I guess. I have my lifesaver <laughs> shorts on, Mon. Come on, honey! I'm coming, Mon. Alright, stay tuned next week, folks, for an all-new minigame. I'm Tink Fartsbells. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much, Tink. I think nice was very nice, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to be mean. All I said was nice. But I enjoy, enjoy just playing with things like this and having fun. That's what life is about, isn't it? Doing crazy videos, having fun, and maybe every once in a while making you guys laugh. That would be my, that would just make my day, I have to say. But thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nice.